So here's this new unit circle and a new angle here. Okay. Now, you've got your axes there labeled. Now, you can go ahead and put in your calculator, just like we did when we were all graphing, right? You could put into your calculator sine 150, and it will give you an answer, okay? But let's see if we can anticipate the answer and confirm with your calculator. Anticipate by this definition, okay? So that's 150 degrees, right? I've gone all the way over to this part over here. You remember how I said I called these quadrants, okay? We started over here in the top right, where everything's positive. And since we start there, we call this, like I mentioned before, the first quadrant, okay? I am measuring anti-clockwise, which is a bit funny. I mean, it is in reverse. But if that's the first one, that makes this guy the second quadrant. Okay? Third and fourth. <coughs> okay, now, what can we know about what sine of 150 is just by looking at this, okay? Remembering that the highest this circle goes is 1, right? And I've got an x coordinate of negative 1 over there. <clears throat> you can see whatever sine 150 is, whatever sine 150 is, since it's the y coordinate, it's got to be between some, somewhere between 0 and 1. Do you agree with that? Like, I don't know exactly where it is yet, okay? But I know it's got to be somewhere in there, right? So do you remember when we drew... our values from 0 to 90 degrees. It went up and it went up and it went up. I'm trying to imagine what happens, there's 90, at 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm trying to imagine what happens over here. Now, all the parts that we drew, they were going up, right? They were going up. So it doesn't seem that unreasonable to think it's just going to keep going up, right? But look, this y coordinate, as I go around the circle, it doesn't keep going up forever. The y coordinate comes back down. Do you see that? So I'm somewhere between 0 and 1. Okay? Now, have a look at this with me before you go and punch it into your calculator. Because it's a circle, it's a very symmetrical shape, right? Very, very symmetrical. Actually, it's just about the most symmetrical shape in existence. Okay? So therefore, I want to take what I know from over here, because I know what happens over here, because you punched all those numbers in your calculator from 0 to 90. I want to take what happens here and bring it over, okay? So if I flip this guy, like just horizontally, around, uh, over the y-axis, right? It's gonna look like this, do you agree? Okay, so I've just flipped it over, okay? Now, tell me some symmetry here. I've got a straight line, so if this is 150 degrees, what's this small angle in here? It's gonna be 30, right? Because angles on a straight line add up to 180. So if I have 30 here, and this thing is symmetrical, what's this angle over here? 30. Okay, just this little one. Okay. Now, hold on a second. We know what sine 30 is, right? We know what sine 30 is. It's a half, right? Mm -hmm. So that should be this y coordinate over here. It should be something a half. Do, do you agree with that, right? Sine is the y coordinate. And in fact, you can kind of see. If you go up and you measure, you can even grab a protractor in a second. If you measure 30 degrees and you draw it over here, you should actually be able to measure it. This is exactly halfway between 0 and 1, right? Can okay, I hold on a second? It's symmetrical. You're getting really sick of me saying symmetrical, right? So if this is a half, and that's the y value, what's the y value over here? Hmm. Now, I want the y value, right? Y value is vertical. It's vertical. Okay. Now, this is the same vertically as this spot over here. Do you agree? Uh, vertically, I've gone up. Gone up this little distance. So it should also be a half. It would be negative if I was looking at the x values, right? What are the x values? Because you remember, you told me before, the x values for cos. Does anyone remember what cos 30 is? It's actually on the board. Um, it's yeah, it's going to be zero point eight uh, seven. seven, right? It's going to be root three on two. This is an x value. So when I flip over to this side, this is the positive side, and that's the negative side for x, right? So this would be minus root three on two. 
Okay, now this is what we are guessing off of the unit circle. Get your calculator out now and pop in sine of 150 degrees. Okay, and magically, lo and behold, 0 0.5. Okay, did you get it? Now, your calculator isn't telling you the answer. The calculator is telling you this, right? Because it knows what to look for. And so that's how it's gotten its number, through the process we just went through, right? It's just memorized them, that's all. You can go ahead as well, if you like, and you can, you can chuck in cos 30. You should get uh, 0.87, right? Does that make sense? You see it there? Now go ahead and put in cos 150, which is over this side. You should get exactly the same number, because it's symmetrical, but there should be a minus sign in the front, right? Of course there's a minus sign because I've gone over to that side of the circle, okay? All right, think for a second. Let's see if I can push this a little bit further. I flipped over from here to here, right? What if I flipped from here down here? Okay, now first, you can tell me the coordinates of this thing, right? I'll call this R, I guess. What's the X coordinate? Hmm. Minus three, two, it's going to be the same as this, right? It's just flip down. Negative root 3 on 2. Okay? But because I'm underneath the axis now, the y value is negative, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right? So it should be minus a half. So that's cos of some angle. That's sine of some angle. What's the angle, though? What is the size of that angle? Remember, I'm measuring from the positive x-axis. So I'm going to start all the way... Hmm. My black. Someone take my black? Where's it gone? Never mind. That's okay. I'm going to start from here. Right? And I'm going to go all, I'll make it bigger, all the way around. What is that angle? Remember, there's loads of symmetry in here. Don't forget, this is, um, this is 30 in here as well. It's going to be 210. Where did 210 come from? How did you get 210? Very good. You go all the way around to the opposite side. That's 180. And then you go a little further. 30 degrees, okay? So you go ahead, you've got your calculator there, put in sine 210. Does it give you what we were expecting? Yeah. It had better, otherwise, go get your calculator traded because it's definitely negative a half. You can do cos if you want, right? I think you trust me now, you don't need to reach for your calculator. Let's do one more, right? Because I've flipped this way, that way, I'm gonna go over here, okay? Hmm. First, tell me the coordinates. Let's call this S. Tell me the coordinates. It's going to be the same as this one first for the X coordinate, but the Y coordinate will be the same as this one because it's vertical. It's below the axis, minus a half. Okay? What angle is that going to be? Remember, you've got 30 degrees in here. One more time. Okay. What would it be if I went all the way around the circle and came back to the beginning? What angle would that be? 360, that's a revolution, right? But I don't go all the way around. I go all the way and then I stop that angle. I'm short, aren't I? So therefore it'll be 360, take away that, which is 330, right? Now, now you can know, you don't need to reach your calculator, right? Sine 330, it's gonna be this. Cos 330, gonna be this, okay? That's what sine is, that's our new definition, okay? Now, this is really powerful. And finally, here's, here's the whole point of this, right? Do you remember a couple of lessons ago, I told you sign meant something. Like, it's got a name for a reason. Do you remember what sign means? You've got one in your nose. Sinus, right? Do you remember I told you what sign actually means? I'm going to show you. Draw for me one last set of axes. This one will be different to the ones you drew before. Uh, I'd like it to look like this. So I just have the right-hand side, as it were. Now, <clears throat> see how we were all this way, we were comparing sine this, sine this, sine this, okay? And we had a whole bunch of different values. Now, you already know what sine x looks like. You already know what it looks like from 0 to 90, right? It looks roughly like this. That's what the part that we drew earlier was, okay? So if that's where it goes from 0 to 90, I've just, I've just plugged in all these values, right, that should go all the way up to 360 degrees, okay? So there's 90, there's 180, 270, 360. Now, let's put in these angles that you've just told me, okay? Um, we've already got all the ones from 0 to 90, great, okay? 
This one was 150. 150 degrees. So that's sort of around here, right? It's a half. There it is. A half. So I'm somewhere about here. Okay. Um, the next one you told me was 210 degrees, and it was negative a half. Negative a half. Hmm. 210 is about here. There's negative half, roughly. Okay. Then you told me 330 degrees, and that was negative a half. Okay. Now I have some dots. Before I join them, I'm going to need one, two, three more dots to join, and then I think we'll have enough information. Okay? 180, 270, 360. These are really important, and you can read them right off this diagram. Okay? Remember, I'm looking for the y coordinate. The y coordinate. Where's 180 degrees? It's all the way here, right? What's the y coordinate of that point there? Just the y coordinate. It's zero, isn't it? It's on the axis. It's not up or down. It's zero. Okay? Zero. Right there. 270. From here all the way around down to here. What's the y coordinate? You, you labeled it, didn't you? It's negative one. Right? 270 degrees, negative one. Last one. 360. You went all the way around. You're actually where you started. What's the y coordinate? One. Hold on. Y coordinate. Oh, zero. It's zero, isn't it? Because I'm on the axis. Zero. Okay, ready to join the dots? Here we go. This is what we call the sine curve, which is a bit like saying ATM machine, because uh, you know how ATM machine, there's an M, that means machine, right? The word sine, sine, it means curved. That's what sine means. That's why you have a sinus. It's this curved part inside your nasal passage, right? This sine graph, if you look at all the values, it's this curvy thing, right? Bit of a spoiler for Thursday. You keep going because the circle just goes round and round and round and round. You just get the same thing over and over and I've just destroyed my other one, but you get the idea, right? It keeps on curving. So, this huge new idea, we've just explored it for sine, it's a unit circle. We're going to explore it for cosine and for tan on Thursday.